This is the iConstruction Builder application, designed to make building applications as fast and quick and easy as possible. So let's log in and see the interface. On the left, we have our navigation and our properties. On the right, we have our palette, where you can pick. And here, we're just going to start off and make a dialogue. The dialogue automatically built with the four panels in it. We can just delete with the delete key all the panels we don't need. Then we can drag the content panel onto the dialog and add the form to it. Next, we want to use from the database design. We auto, we've auto built all the components. So you can build a form from the database without writing a single line of code. See? We not only can do form elements, but combo elements which take their data from the database as well. We can also chain, use different layouts. So we have legend, and we also have rows and fields. Normally, if you're doing this by hand, it can be quite time consuming, continually re-rendering, finding out what the form will look like. Now you can just drag and drop and move things around. So I'm going to change the legend here, change the title there. There we go, the contact details. And the form element's a bit too big for our very tiny screen here. So we can just change the width again with the other one. As you can see the data is actually live from the database and it pulls data out. the element has actually got a URL using the uh, framework where you're pulling data out automatically from the database. Now let's just add, it to high, add the buttons at the bottom of the uh, page. Again, right clicking on some of these elements works. You can just add some cancel and the OK button. Next job is hook an event into the button. So for the cancel, this underscore with the prefix always refers to the module. So each little component of our application is a little module. So we've referred to this dialog, but this dialog probably doesn't exist yet. So when the dialog itself is drawn, we can set this dialog equal to the self. Again, on the form, there's a show, there's a render method here which sets the form variable of the module to the form itself. Now for the OK button, we can basically tell the form to do the action of submit. Before it submits, we need to mask the form so it doesn't get pressed twice. So dialog. So we say it's saving. Now let's just make the form a bit smaller because it doesn't need to be that big. Obviously, beforehand, we were, a lot of the time we were playing around with editing DOM on live pages or whatever just to find out this value. Now we're building it before we do the application. And give the dialog a title. Now each module, are we going on to the module bit? <laughs> As you can see all of the different properties of the elements are available and they're directly taken from the documentation. So for the module, a dialog is slightly different to a standard module because it's not added to our layout, so some of these elements are actually irrelevant, like mod key, you can just delete the property. Strings are generated in the code with quotes specific to... Next, we're going to try and make 
the grid that goes with the form. So we can actually pick some grids generated from the database and we can just drag them into the panel. Automatically come in with the add, edit and delete buttons and all the columns defined. So you can just go through and then delete the columns you don't need. It also sets up the auto expand column. So we'd rather have name as the auto expand column. Now a slight change in Roo is that this now uses the data index rather than the ID for the auto expand column. We can just adjust the width of the columns. Now for the grid, automatically generates the property grid. We also need to use is the property for the dialog related to this grid for easy reference to the other parts of the application. So the example we made earlier, which was Beeman dialog example. Okay, now we go back into the add button. Okay, finally try this correctly. The action for the add button is this dialog. Show. The show method of the module for a dialog usually pretty standard as first argument is the properties or the data and the second is the return callback so what happens once the dialog closed this way you can force a refresh like we're about to do so we're going to use the footer which is a paging and click on first now if we go back here So what we're saying now is that when the panel activates, we're going to try and force it to load the grid. And just a slight mistake there, change it to the grid, this is what we're going to load. And now we can change the properties. Modules, the example tab, parents there, and we can finally save. Now we're going to log in and have a look what the application looks like. We don't even have to compile or anything, just run it in debug mode. We can reload the data straight from the database, and then we can add a new record. Go back into the editor and view what the code is actually getting generated using the show JSON. Although it's not really JSON, but uh, we need to fix that label. You can see how the different components are automatically created, and we're using X type elements. We're creating strings with single quotes for non translatable and double quotes for translatable elements, so the inbuilt translation module can pick up all of the translatable strings from the application. And that's the idea to try and make development quite a bit faster.